Lee, so let us know. Uh, tell us about this fire today right in front of your house. Well, you know what I mean? I was in the house, you know, playing the game like I always do that PS4. And all of a sudden, I heard a loud noise kaboom. But what I noticed that it was called the street at the jump yard. So, you know what I mean? The first thing I could think about was warning my neighbors before they can get out of the way to be safe, get their kids out of the way. And, you know, before you know it, the paramedics start showing up. The most thing I can say, I'm just glad they be doing their job and they making sure everything good. But the point is that, uh, I'm a little nervous there because I'm still hot because it's hot. The flames was hot. As you see, I'm sweating. And the only thing I can just think about is the safety for my whole community where I stay at. And I'm just glad that the paramedics got here on time. I don't really know what more to say, but the point is that we safe now. They put out the flames, and we can all go to bed at night. Sure. Now tell us about uh, walking out your house, feeling the heat against your body when you step outside. Oh man, it was it was like walking into an oven, man. You know what I mean, like a hot pocket. You know what I mean. But at the same time, it was a little worry. That's what it was. A little worry because it could have went any kind of way. It could have came on our side. It could have spread it out to the old folks. But lucky they contained the fire, and we all good. We safe now. And what I'm about to do is go in the house, take a hot shot, a good shot. Matter of fact, a cold shot, because it's a little hot out here already. But I'm just glad that they contain everything. We all good. Right. And, and so do you know what they, they keep over there in that, in that, uh, that um, area? You know, it's a little tow, tow, um, tow company. They probably keep all type of there from old cars, um, AT with a propane tank. So, you know, a lot of, like I said, a lot of combustion has happened. A couple cars got on fire that I saw. You know, standing right here across the street, you know, a couple propanes done blew up. So, you know what I mean? Luckily, they, like I said, they got here in time and they contained it because it could have got a little worse. Because, you know, it is a gas station right up the street from the flame. So, luckily, you know, like I said, we good now. Thanks for the uh, fire people. Sure. And tell us about being right there when those uh, explosions were going off, man. Oh, man. You thought 4th of July was something. That was crazy. The boom, the shot waves of, you know, knocking on cars, alarms. And the vibration of um, the windows from my car, it was like like a bomb, you know what I mean? And as you think about it, it was a bomb. It was a propane tank going off. But I'm just, like I said, I'm just glad everybody was safe and we was all good. It's hot out here, and I'm about to take it in. So, you know, I can't say much, but decide that we all good now. Perfect. Thanks a lot, sir. Please, can you spell your name? Oh, um, it's Mr. Ugly, M-R-U-G-L-Y 305. You know what I mean? So holla at me. I got my own little business, Ugly Cakes. I do what I do best. So, you know, to everybody out there that's um, watching, we good. Our whole block good. And like I said, the kids good. They right behind me, as you can see on the porch. They all good. And all right. we safe. All right, so if they, if they end up using this and put your name on TV, what name do you want them to put on TV? Oh, Mr. Ugly. M-R-U-G-L-Y. Oh, Ugly for short. You know what I mean? But at the same time, that's what I go by. But my real name is Amari. How do you spell it? O-M-A-R-I. And that's your first or last name? No, that's my first name. And your last name? Last name, Affleck. I, I don't want nobody trying to hit me up. How, how, do you spell it? how do you spell your last name? I don't want to spell my last name. Is that Affleck like the duck? No, no, Affleck like Ben Affleck. Oh, okay. Ben Affleck, the actor. We talking about money. We ain't talking about no ducks. But um, at the same time, you know what I mean? We good. Hey, that's my brother right there. Don't live your life like that. But um, at the same time, like I said, the kids are safe. They contain the fire. We get to live to see another day. I get to live in my home because that's how close it was. But we could have nearly burned up over here. All right, great. Thanks a lot, sir. Have a good day. All right, peace. Appreciate it, man. All right. Oh, yeah.
please um, so let us know what's going on out here tonight. Well, about 10:35 tonight, we got a call of something burning uh, from a storage yard. Uh, we just originally dispatched two units. Once the units arrived, they were met with heavy flame conditions and some explosions. At that time, they requested a building assignment. It was when I was dispatched. Uh, we ended up having a total of seven units and one battalion chief, actually two battalion chiefs on scene. Uh, we were able to contain the fire to uh, three tractor trailers and some industrial equipment around the yard. Uh, the units did a great job. We were able to keep contain the fire to the, the original uh, tractor trailers and we kept it from spreading to the, uh, the yard next door. Okay, uh, so if you can describe the condition the firefighters have faced with heavy fire shooting in the air, explosions, all that other stuff. Well, originally when we first got here, the first two units encountered heavy flame conditions and some explosions. Uh, we were thinking it's propane tanks. Uh, they did have some diesel fuel and also some oil stored in the yard. Uh, once they encountered that, uh, they decided to hook up to a hydro before they started flowing water and call for additional units. Perfect. All right, great. Is there anything else you'd like to add tonight? The units did a great job. Uh, we kept everybody safe. Nobody got hurt. And the fire didn't spread to any other yards and uh, minimal loss. Perfect. All right, sir, uh, any idea yet about how the fire might have got started? At this point, we don't know. Uh, the investigator is on scene. Uh, he's investigating at this time, and we'll let you know once we find out. Perfect. All right, sir, so please, can you say and spell your name? My name is Horatio Rodriguez, H-O-R-A-C-I-O-R-O-D-R-I-G-U-E-Z. Perfecto. All right, sir, ¿qué pasó esta noche en español? Esta noche, como a las diez y media de la noche, eh, una llamada de un fuego en, en, en un storage yard cerca de unas casas, cuando llegaron aquí las unidades, encontraron mucho fuego y explosiones y eh, se decidieron llamar a un building assignment. Entonces tuvimos siete unidades presentes aquí en el fuego y el fuego eh, estuvo contenido al storage yard que tenía eh, tres camiones y aceite y unos tanques de propane. Okay, and anything else in Spanish about... Uh... All right, and, and, and uh, in Spanish about, uh, if you guys know what caused it yet? Eh, todavía no sabemos qué, qué causó el fuego, pero el, el investigador está aquí, eh, está investigando y una vez que sabemos el, eh, la causa del fuego, se lo diremos. And tu nombre es Mi nombre es Horacio Rodríguez, H-O-R-A-C-I-O Rodríguez. Perfecto, gracias.